Tony Snell, every weekday morning. BBC Radio Merseyside. Now, cast uh, your mind back to December. It was a long time ago, seeing today is the final day of February. We brought you the stories of patients who were back home for Christmas because of the work of Merseyside's five specialist hospitals. This week, we're going to find out about uh, the groundbreaking research being carried out at these centres. First up is the Walton Centre, which has received more than £2 million to find out more about the devastating brain infection encephalitis. Uh, Cheryl Lomax has been treated for the illness and joins me on the programme now, along with uh, Mum Karen and Dr Tom Solomon from the Walton Centre. Uh, good morning to you. Good morning. This is going to sound really cheesy. Who's mum and whose daughter? <laughs> <laughs> no, morning to you. Thanks very much for coming in. Thank you. Ch Cheryl, first of all, tell me tell me about your illness. Well... Squeeze in on that mic if you would, though. Doesn't mind. Um, well, back in December, I can't really remember, but in 2008, I started to get headaches and I kept smelling this funny smell that would make me be sick and I was tired all the time. And then... I went to the GP and everything and then, well, eventually ended up in hospital anyway and yeah. I ended up having some seizures. How did you take this, Mum? This must have been to see your, your, your daughter, you know, going through this and not knowing what this was all about. How did yeah, that feel for you? Yeah, it was very really frightening because the, the, the frightening bit was whenever she started to get a funny smell and, 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 and then felt sick. That was the bit that made me think there was something quite badly wrong. So um, when we went to the hospital... Um, they did all sorts of tests to try and see what it was because they didn't know themselves what it was. It must have been tough to watch, though, tough to yeah, see. Yeah, it was. To see her just lying there and, and she was, like, just asleep all the time and the headaches were so bad. She and you just really didn't know what was going on, Cheryl? I can't remember a thing the first yeah. time really? in the hospital, no. Professor, um, good morning yeah, to you. Good morning. Um, how will £2 million in funding help research into uh, encephalitis? Can, can you tell us a little yeah, bit more about the sure. condition, well, if you well, would? Well, this is a, a very nasty uh, inflammation and swelling of the brain caused by a virus. Is it common? Um, it's, it's quite rare. Across the range, all the brain infections collectively are, are, are not that rare. And, and Cheryl's um, story was quite typical in that she had funny uh, headaches, funny smells, uh, eventually seizures. And um, when she was contact, when we were contacted by the local hospital and they described the problems that she had, we put it all together and realised that this was encephalitis. This yeah, because you know, I mean, the, infection. The, 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 you know, the, the, the Walton Neuro Centre straight away. You'll go. Ah, we know about that. Well, we, let's, let's get well, the we file. We do because we're 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 uh, we we look after three and a half million people across the uh, northwest region and north wales and so although it's a relatively rare condition we hear about and see all the patients with this very nasty brain infection and our new research is uh, about better recognizing this condition and, mm. and developing new ways of diagnosing and treating it and uh, how are you now Cheryl? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm back at work and everything, doing part and well full time at the moment. Fully recovered. Yeah. I'm it's fine. this fella's fault, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's looked deaf to it. I mean, what, what, what do you think about the centre now? Because we, we have news stories about the Walton, you know, Neuro Centre and whatever. You know, I, I've never, I've never been there. Hopefully, I never have to. But mm. for those who do, they've got nothing but praise. Yeah, I remember the Walton Centre was the best hospital. I was so glad to have gone there because I don't, don't know, just quickly treated and. Just <laughs> it's music to your ears. We, yeah, we, t we tend to find. I mean, I uh, we we although we're based at the Walton, we cover every hospital in the NHS uh, Northwest region and, yeah. and also North Wales, and we tend to find that uh, patients are, are, are very keen to come. We, we unfortunately can't admit, admit everyone. It's only those with the most serious illnesses, mm. um, and then we have to send them back to the hospitals that they come from. But they usually have a very good experience, um, thanks to the the support and hard work of the staff right well, across the board. We're very lucky to to have it in our region. Region, aren't we? Yeah, we are. And in fact, it's the only dedicated NHS uh, hospital that's dedicated to neurosciences in the whole country. So even in London, there's no specific hospital just for brain uh, problems only. So we are very lucky to have this in this region, yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, ladies, thank you very much indeed uh, for, for coming in. And one final point to you, uh, Professor. Uh, this thing, this brain, this very complex organ of the body, the brain, uh, we learn something new about it every day, I presume, do we? Yeah, the, we, we, we're always learning new things about it. It's, 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 a, it's a very complicated part of the body it's the most complicated part of the body um, but lots of research happening at the Walton Centre not just on brain infections but on a range of conditions epilepsy multiple sclerosis strokes we're finding out new things about it all the time and new ways of treating these conditions okay and one final final question which I ask all doctors who come in how realistic is Holby 
Holby City. <laughs> yeah. How realistic is it? Because uh, any doctor who comes in, we never, watch never watch it. You've never seen it. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know whether you missed it or not. But thanks very much indeed for coming in. Have yourself a good day. Thank you. Okay. It's BBC Radio Mersey. So you weren't expecting that question first, were you? It certainly wasn't. No, there. You, are. you batted it off very, very well. I have to say. Let's bring you up to date.